Hey yo everybody, I'm Nick and welcome back to Paper Mario. On the last episode, we figured out where we needed to go next. Beat Junior Trooper around and there's a bunch of shy guys roaming around Toad Town and stuff causing chaos. But we're ignoring that today because I want to go down the sewers because there's this floor panel I can now finally break. So let's go. And we can't deal with that right now, but we can deal with this room. Oh look, some Koopas. How about we go bash them? Yeah, you're on your feet, or on your back, so I'm gonna tattle on your ass. You're a Dark Koopa. This is a Dark Koopa. Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in Toad Town Tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. They got eight hit points, three attack power, and two defense. Be extra careful when you see them green, because that means they're getting ready to do the dizzy attack. Their defense power is zero when they're turned over, so you should use jump attacks. Which means it's time for the stomping of your life. New enemies are fun. Yeah, no, none of that. We're gonna go back to jumping on you because uh, you're ready to die. Oh, there we go. There's that slow restoration. It's only one at a time, but that's pretty good. How about I don't take that damage? That seems pretty good to me. And since we're slowly restoring FP, I think I can af- Stupid ground pound animation. Ha! Huh. Come on. I wanted to be like, oh hey, I can just. It's tri it trips me up so much. God damn it. Well, at least these guys are toast. And I have the possibility of slowly restoring my FP, which is pretty neat. And hey, we gotta take care of these guys in order to get through here. So how about no? I'm gonna hit you first. Oh my fucking god, there's three of them. Oh shit. Oh shit. I wish they didn't have eight fucking hit points. At this point, do we really need Gabari? Oh, actually, I do want to get the dizzy guys on their backs. At the very least. Thank you for the point. And I misclicked. Wonderful. So now we gotta deal with the dizzy guy. I don't know the timing for that. Shit. Oh dear. Get the dizzy guy. Uh, I'm gonna be taking some damage here. I'm gonna take a lot of damage. And you're gonna keep trying to dizzy me. That's annoying. Actually, he can't dizzy me now. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, oh, they all want to dizzy me now. That's bad. I do. I really don't know the timing for it, so it's really annoying. Oh, it just didn't work that time. Swell. Oh, that time I actually got the timing. Actually, Goombario, this is time for you to shine. Cause now it's time to show off our new star power. All right, get ready to channel your inner Ness, cause it's time to bring the pain. Or your inner Pook, cause that's who actually learns it in Earthbound. So here's the Star Storm. It really is a good get out of jail free card against really tough enemies. And another encounter like that, and I'm gonna level up. It's there's exactly gonna be one more of these turtles. So no, don't do that. Oh my fucking God, there's four of them. I actually, at the very least, oh, this might be the time for the repel gel. Here we go, they're really annoying, so here we go. All right, thank you for the point. But now it's time to bash the guy that's on the ground. And they can't touch my partner, so that's good. Yeah, nice try, asshole. <laughs> they even really panicked when it doesn't work. <laughs> no! None of you. Thankfully it lasts for a little while, so that's always good. Multi-bounce would have been swell. But you know what's better than that? I still have D-Down Pound equipped. So here you go, in your face. And then we're gonna just put you on your back because I can. I gotta keep this fight in because level ups. Heh, <laughs> didn't work again. 
I just can't get enough out of watching them run with panic. Okay, two turns. That's that's more than enough. Because it's time for some D-down pounding. If, you, if I do say so myself. To pierce! I like the pierce. And that, and that time it only cost one FP instead of two. Alright, only two dizzy guys now. Getting somewhere. Nope. I didn't time it right. So I Oh, you're just gonna try and dizzy me. That's fine. Thankfully, it does not add up. And I thankfully have Goombario to take one of your turns out. Ow. Dickwad. Uh, what can I do about you? Because they all want to turn me into dizzy soup. I don't like that plan. Can we not? God damn it. <sighs> Motherfucker. I'd rather do the other guy because he looks like he's about to try and dizzy me again and that would just waste his turn. I predicted right. Does this res- it doesn't reset the- oh, it does reset it. God damn it. Well, at the very least, I have the life shroom in case I absolutely get screwed here. Ow. Well, now at least I have action command, so... Take this guy to the ground. And at the very least, I can guard you. And now we've got him pinned. Because Goombara could just jump on this guy. And he'll be dead. And, well, there we go. Get 20 star points for this? Jeez. And this is a useless points of defense to get right now, because he does nothing. And now I get to jump on you for free! There we go. 20 points. That regeneration was useless, because I just leveled up. Ain't that a joy. FP this time. And it's a button. What does the button do? Why? It gives us another pipe. And before I go in that pipe, I'm going over here because I want to see what's going on. Hmm. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it's another super block. But we can't do anything about that right now because all of our partners are already super. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What the hell is that? No, I was being crazy. I thought there was an item there, but I guess not. If I recall correctly, there are not, there isn't any hidden blocks around. So let's go and see where that pipe takes us, shall we? Oh, hey, it's a shortcut back to uh, Boo's Mansion in case we ever want more apples and weed. But I can't cook my stuff right now, so that's pretty much useless. But you know, while we're here in the tunnels, let's go and use these other pipes, because I need to go back to the desert for one. And now that I know I can actually spin around that tree, I may have actually got the trigger. Uh, actually, this is not where I want to go whatsoever, or at least I thought I would. Let's collect a goom nut while we're here. I have a very good reason for grabbing that. And it's called, we'll be doing some cooking later. So, now that we're here, we can at least give the letter to the guy that's in front of uh, the town. Oh my god, Quizmo, what are you doing here? Fuck, man. Alrighty, here's a letter to you. Skip this part of the dialogue and... Hey, thanks! You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And to think, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once we have a good place to set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town Port. He's easy to find. Thanks again. Fish mail. Because everybody wants to go fishing. But seriously, where is that freaking toad? Uh, I mean, I could look around for a little bit, but we'll see what we can do. I can look at some of these houses, but I don't think that's going to avail me of anything. 
because if I remember correctly, it's actually it's possible to me show up in another chapter, but that's Colorado's house. I think it's just some bob bombs that shack up in here. Yeah, it's just some bob bombs that shack up in here. Because the only toad that's in this town is the one that runs the toad house. But while we're here, let's go back to the desert. Because now I want to spin around that goddamn tree, and now I think these guys will say something about it if I keep doing it. They'll say I'm a fucking crazy person, for one. Keep spinning around, keep spinning around. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy! What? You're joking! You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't, didn't mean anything. It said there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times in the house, something good should happen to you. Ha ha ha! A house with a whirling roof! As if that existed! Ha! I don't take dreams seriously. Well, actually, that's a hint for us. So right now, we need to go back to Toad Town. Getting this extra bullshit out of the way. Ain't that spiffy. So the spinning house he's referring to is actually Merlin's. So you, you kind of get sent on a wild ass goose chase. And yep, this is the spinning roof. So one, two, three. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you're a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. Now, if we go and equip this badge... Let's see how much it costs first. Oh shit, four points. Uh, I don't... I, I never use focus. Uh, what else can I unequip for the moment? Zap tap is still gonna have some use for me. Power smash? Nah, quick hammer. I might still be able to get some use out of this. Really, I'm only using power bounce as offensive damage. Quick change allows me to uh, change my partner in battle without wasting their turn. It's super useful. Anywho, we should go over to the port and give this letter to fish mail since we happen to be here. I swear what other kinds of extra BS we might run across. Mario! Mario, Mario, good to see you! We found out that you defeated Tubba Blubba. I knew you could do it, I just knew it! When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh yes, I've got new information about the Honorable Star Spirits who are still imprisoned. Have you ever heard of Shy Guy's Toy Box? It seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held there. But where on earth is Shy Guy's Toy Box? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess now. Good luck, Mario. Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on. Yeah, they... He's just, I forgot that plot was there. Hey, you thief! Oh, Mario, it's you. A shy guy stole my storeroom key. I can't stay in business if I get into my, if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world will I do? So yeah, you can't actually do any business here. Oh, well, you can still shop, but you can't actually store anything here. And I want to get rid of that goom nut at some point. I'll do it in between episodes. So what we need to do is go over here. Fish mail should be right here. Her, blimey, the little wiggler's gone. Where'd that fuzzy bead go? A fish took him, perhaps. Curse me, foul luck. So here's fish mail. Another letter delivered. Hmm? What's this then? Shiver me timbers. Word from Coover. Must he said he wrote a letter too. Everybody's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. He should come along, Mario. Yarr, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? I'm Why the Cooper Trooper. I should bring this letter to me. Cooper's the name. Yarr, and take good care for the love of fishes. 
It's goose chase time! But you know what that means. We're back on this BS again, so letter delivered. Oh, thanks, cool, it's from my pal. This must have been the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, you, can you take it? It's Mr. E who lives in the desert. He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the toad house. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. Okay, thankfully, the desert is not very far away. I made that quick cut just cause, uh, yeah. Sometimes it could take a bit wandering around Toad Town. And thankfully, the pipe to uh, the Dry Dry Outpost is right here. And the Toad House is over this way. Hooray, trade quests. This is the Toad we need to talk to. Here we go, this is Mr. E, so deliver that goddamn letter. Gee, thanks. Oh, looks like it's an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter the next time you're in Toad Town? It's to Miss T. She lives there. She's one of the three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot. Here we go again. Another letter, de letter delivered, and I delivered it to the right one this time because I actually took a guess. I didn't know which one I was supposed to talk to. And they don't recognize it, so uh, she's like, oh, I'm super popular and whatnot. And now we gotta live, give a letter to the shop owner, so, uh, Little Mouser. Well, let's keep running in the 90s. Bloody blah, bloody bloody blah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think that was like, then again, that actually might be a topical song. Wait, where the hell am I going? Because, uh, yeah, this came out in 2001. And I'm pretty sure Initial D was also in, in like early 2000s. So that totally makes a lot of fucking sense. All right, time to talk to the shopkeep who is right in here, so let's talk. There we go, we just had to cancel that dialogue and here we go, letter delivered. Oh, thanks, yeah, this is an order sheet from one of my regulars. Good deal, she's one of my best customers, she orders things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you can't beat desert lemons and limes. You can find them in the oasis. Oh, if you make a juice with those things, mm-mm. Oh, hang on, almost forgot, can you do me a favor? Please deliver this letter to a boo called Frankly, or Frankie. Frankie lives in a, way, a mansion way out on the far edge of Forever Forest. It may be tough to find him. Thanks. Frankie, oh dear God, I don't remember which one it is. Oh dear, here we go again. Little did I know the boo I was searching for is literally the first one you find, so uh, that's a thing. Oh, thank you. Oh great, it's finally in. This is from a guy you know and who deals in useful items from all over the world. He has a great eye for items. He just has something that I've wanted for a long time. Oh, it's the coolest thing. Oh wow, I almost forgot. Could you deliver this for me? Sorry if it's a bother. There's a toad child in Toad Town named Dane T. Please deliver it to him. He always seems to be playing by the station with his pals. He must like trains. Thanks, Abu. Oh, how Dane T. Hey, we love toad puns, because they're just, you know, tea toad. It's nice when the creator's able to make a lot of puns like that. You know what? That's something that, that I'll always appreciate it if no one else will. Thankfully, the station is just south of the entrance here. So I could go find a little toad child. And uh, here we go. He likes trains. That's bad. For your life, anyway. Uh, oh, by the way, hey asshole, get out of here. They want to use a train. Don't do that. I believe Dane T should be over here somewhere. He's one of these kids, I believe. Oh, there we go. There's the trigger. Here we go. Deliver that letter. Thank you, Paracarry. Thanks, mister. Wow, I mean, wow, it's an invitation to the Haunted Mansion. I didn't think it would really come. All the kids at Toad Town have been talking about this invitation, wondering if it was for real. 
But now that it's come, I guess I have to go. Mini T, are you brave enough to go with me? Uh, you know, I'm really kind of busy and, oh yeah, I just have the greatest idea. Let's ask that Yoshi kid from Yoshi's Village to come. You just got a letter from that kid last week, did you? You know, that letter you got from the island? Let's send a letter back to him and tell about the scary adventure we're gonna have. Hey, Mr. Postman, take this letter to the Red Yoshi Kid in Yoshi Village. We can't do that right now. So, that's about the extent we can do for the trade quest. So, on today's episode of Paper Mario, we kind of did a bunch of extra stuff delivering letters all over the place and even encountering a new enemy. And on the next episode, we're finally going to get into uh, where... Uh, a certain toy box could be. So with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.